รู้สึกไม่ค่อยสบายเพราะฉะนั้นจะรีบจบดาบสามดาวของบันเลือกแกนให้ได้ว่าจะไม่นานมากนะแล้วก็จะนานก็ได้เซฟตี้เน็ตของเราก็คือชั่วโมงครึ่งอยู่ดีโอเคไม่ได้ก็ต่อวิดีโอหน้าก็ได้แหละTo Campus Radio, I'm Maggie Watmore, and I just learned what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent. Enjoy your summer. I know I will.
done one. The timetable has now been published. Schedule your lives accordingly. I can't read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses. But I am told that that's quite ironic. So, yeah, here's Hugh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at Duckworth Campus Food Court, where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens.
carefully asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. Here's Wanda, who'll be telling us the coolest way to get around the county. Yes, the bus is the new hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do while driving. But this way, it's much more safe. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Social life, exercise, coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self.
are asked not to ask questions. That's all from us today at Campus Radio. As expected, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use that button during the show, so before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. There you have it. extension. Starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? <laughs> the academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. <laughs>
drink some water. Thank you. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I hear that another university has opened its doors to the aspiring bookworms and lab rats of Two Point County. Listeners may remember that I don't like new universities because they're not old and therefore not any good. If they were, they'd have opened a long time ago. That's called logic, students. Though I don't suppose you'd know. Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
Table is now live. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Welcome back. I can't say that I understand our county's recent fascination with opening pop-up universities on a weekly basis, but it seems appropriate to commemorate the opening of yet another fun-time house of real good learning. I thought we'd talk about the past, memories, and nostalgia. The feelings that things used to be in some incalculable and all-encompassing sense better. But why do we feel that way? Are we wearing rose-tinted glasses? Perhaps. Did everything used to be better? Probably. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. I used to love taking the train, the steam, the crisp sandwiches, watching people's luckage fall. Oh, those were the days. 
Sadly, I now find the experience of using our county's rail services is missing one rather vital component. I find that everyone seems all too engrossed by their mobile phones. Now, I have no interest in talking to anyone, but what I did like was ignoring people. It's just no fun if they do it for you. Warning, stupid questions will make you look stupid. Administrative bonuses. Waiter, waiter! Oh, the service here is terrible! You could go out. Or you could stay in. <sighs> With a bowl of hog logs. You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. <clears throat> Only hog log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin.
unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. was recently stolen back to the days of my youth. Yes, after inadvertently trapping myself in the airing cupboard, what did I come across but my old wooden tennis clogs? It had been too long since I thought about my days on the university team. <laughs> Education is non refundable.
staff are reminded to care about students. This is Campus Radio and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theatre. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. <laughs> Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. For a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenure DJ. This week, I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before actually that he spent so much time at sea or well near any water really and that's just super interesting janitor needed in student union the campus is expanding even more than usual
The renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Here in Smogley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. The library is alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside, looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Frequently asked questions.
schoolwork, moron, social life, loser, exercise, coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Yes, we are testing you. And there we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theatre was, indeed, a large piece of cheese. We're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit, though this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Here 
is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? The academic year is now over. The yearly results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? should be checked in and then removed immediately.
Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. <laughs> Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. We'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. The goal! In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
starts it with debt. My darling, albeit slack-jawed nephew Kevin, ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap at the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately.
questions will make you look stupid. Beaver from Bungle. The small car that makes the little things feel bigger than they are. It's a perspective thing. Oh, I'm going 